It's amazing how fast an Etsy store can grow with the right idea. This store's growing like crazy, but that might not last very long without a few changes. Let's take a look. But first, I'm Jess at Insights by Jess. I dig deep into what makes Etsy stores successful and where they can improve so that you get the full 411 on what's really selling and why. Let's jump in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This was such an interesting store to review because it can easily be outsourced as a print-on-demand store. And although they have a great selection of items, there's really one product that seems to be getting most of their sales. So let's take a look at their storefront. This is Honeycomb Workshop, and they have 698 listings. As you can see, they have a lot of what looks like print-on-demand products, but this store does say that they make their products in-house. So that means that they have a machine to do this. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. I wanted to show you guys this engraved Apple Watch band. That is the one that seems to be selling like hotcakes. And we're gonna get to their store stats in just a minute. But I wanted to point out that there are some things I noticed that are really slowing down their sales and probably or potentially even causing issues with their orders and setting themselves up for failure. So grab a cup of coffee and get comfy because this video has lots of different tips and suggestions that can really, really make a big difference in store sales and overall customer experience for stores like this. So before we get into all of that, let's jump into their store stats. This store has, go back up to the top here, 20,922 sales. And they are actually, I've already told you, they have 698 listings. Their average product price is about $25. Their first feedback, if I jump down here, and do you guys like when I show you their their oldest feedback? Do, do you want me to show you this? Because I know the scrolling can get a little bit dizzying, so if you don't want to see this and you just trust that I'm giving you the correct date, I can skip this. Let me know in the comments. Comment and let me know if you prefer to see the date on the screen or if you prefer for me to just skip past all the crazy scrolling. Anyways, their first feedback is 420 of 2020. So they're about two years and three quarters, so almost three years old, and they have gotten almost 21,000 sales, like I've said. So dividing all of that by the time that they've been open, they make approximately $196,000 a year. And that's, of course, just an estimate, and that's a fairly conservative estimate, assuming that they're selling one product per order, that each of these sales is for one item, and also assuming that their growth has been split evenly amongst the years that they've been open so far. That's a pretty impressive number. So I want to go ahead and show you guys that fancy Apple Watch that I was talking about that is getting all of the sales. Now, when I first wrote the store's name down to review them, it was a couple of months ago and they actually were a bestseller for this product. They are not any longer a bestseller and that is part of why I wanted to talk about this particular listing and this particular product. So these are really cute. This is an Apple watch band. It can go on all of these different types of Apple Watches, all series, it says SC and Ultra, and it's really pretty. It's been engraved. There's a couple different ways that this can be done, but before I tell you how they're potentially made, I also want to remind you that Printify has printed Apple Watch bands, which are super, super, super cute and much easier than making them yourself. In fact, I'm going to jump over there put any kind of design you like on them which is really cool because that gives you endless color opportunities you can put names on here fonts different fonts different colors whatever you like so it's pretty cool i love printify they integrate automatically with etsy which is fantastic and you can just automate this whole process but they are actually making these themselves so 
let's talk about how they do that really quick. One of the ways that you can make this yourself is with a Glowforge machine. So a Glowforge machine is pretty expensive, but there is a great tutorial here on YouTube from Clark's Condensed that will actually walk you through the entire process of making an Apple Watch that is engraved just like this. But those machines can be one or two thousand dollars. I think they're way out of touch for most of us, I think. I can't imagine spending that kind of money on a machine, but there is actually a great competitive product called the Laser Packer, <laughs> Laser Engraver, and they have two different options here. They have one for 300 and their nice one is for the whole suite is actually, oh, there's different options, 500 and it disappeared on me, 500 and 600, depending on what options you want with it. So this can do everything just like the Glowforge. It can engrave actually quite a few things. If I go to the product listing itself, and I have to translate this because I am in Spain, rocking the, uh, where's my translate button? Rocking the living abroad lifestyle here. Okay, so it can actually do quite a bit of different things. It's actually cool. I might just buy this for fun one day because it was really impressive. And what really struck me about this machine is that it can make these fancy leather engravings that we saw in my um, eight tips for more sales uh, buyer psychology video. There was beautiful leather jewelry boxes that they are just raking in the money on. And this machine is probably what they're using to make those. So that was really, really cool to see. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up at the top for you guys. But of course, if you are looking for something that is more streamlinable, I definitely suggest you go for the printed Apple Watch band. And they do offer plenty of other things as well. There's this kind of watch band. Is this an apple? Yes. Which can also be printed. It's a little pricier than the other vendor, but there's different options. So there could also be other vendors. I'd have to do a little bit of research to see what other vendors could actually print those for cheaper as well that are not Printify. But this is really, really smart. They are making tons of money on this product and Really, if they make a few quick changes, they can get that bestseller tag back pretty quickly. So looking at their images, I love how this says more designs available here. They've done a great job on their product listing. It's clear, you can easily see what the product is. I love the video for this. They show how easy it is to put the watch band on. Once you get the new watch band, they make it look pretty simple to do. I love videos that make things look easy. It's always, always great. They did a great job with the rest of their photos as well. They show all the different options, the sizes, the colors, all that good stuff here. And then they have the designs image that shows you what options you have for your design. And of course you can write the design down here as well when you make your purchase. So you'll just write down the number of the design you like, which they explain very well in this handy dandy how to order instructions photo. I love how to, how to order instruction photos because they really do help your buyer. They answer a lot of questions your, your buyer might have just by looking at this. So they did a great job with their photos and their video. And this store, when I first looked at it, it also prompted you to go to their website and you could test out the design. It looks like they have taken that off of their listing. And I don't know if it's because they got nervous about directing people off of the Etsy website, or if maybe they just didn't want to keep up with the cost of having that feature or what happened, but that is no longer on there. So that is a bummer. So let's look at their title here. It looks like they are putting a lot of focus on the sizing available and the series of Apple Watch that it fits. I'm going to jump over to my workbook and see how many characters they've used. 
It looks like they are using 127 characters out of 140, so almost all of them. There's just a tiny little bit of room left that they could play with. So they've done a good job of using all of the space in their title, and they do use words like monogram and engraved, and then Apple Watch. I'm not sure why it says sport. I'm not sure if that's the type of watch that it is, but I was a little surprised that they didn't use Apple Watch Band all in a row, but that's just me. Looking down at their description, their description is a little bit of a mess, to be honest. I like that they say that it ships free. That's always great, but there's no appeal statement here. They instantly start jumping into, please read the important information below, and here's an interesting thing that I have not ever quite seen yet in my store reviews on Etsy, and it says, in accordance with the buyer policy contained in Etsy's house rules, by making a purchase from this shop, you agree that you have read the item description, submitted appropriate payment, provided accurate shipping, blah, blah, blah. Placing an order on our shop constitutes an acknowledgement and agreement to the entirety of the following. And then, it lists out all of their shop policies in their product description. And then it goes on to give information about color, size, the difference in, in um, the color differences on computer monitors. This is a lot. This is a lot of information to say that computers can have slightly different colors. Um, and to be honest, so it continues on. And to be honest, this is overwhelming. And so I really wanted to point this out because if I was a buyer, I'm instantly going to feel overwhelmed reading all of this. I am not even scrolling to the end. And I'm going to jump over to a competitor because believe me, there are plenty of competitors. This is a competitor that does have the bestseller description tag down here. They have nailed that bestseller mark and their description starts out with a appeal statement. And then they say a little bit about it. They give the technical details. They prompt you for the important things and that's it. This is their whole product description. It is not as formidable as the last store. Here is another competitor that is also a bestseller. So they have actually a lot of patterns. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. So this is a bestseller. This is a lot easier to read. You can read the description here. It's not as complicated. They have a simple how to order. They address returns and exchanges and that's about as technical as it gets. So it is very, very different feeling than when you come shopping here at Honeycomb Workshop and you see massive amounts of disclaimers and policies and information that is that you are agreeing to by making your purchase. And here's here's the thing. This is important. All of the information that they have included in this long product description is probably important information, but it doesn't need to be in their description. Etsy will give you an FAQ section and a shop policy section. And that is where you want to put most of inf the information that is like this. All of that important information can go in your shop policies and in your FAQ. And if it's super, super important, you can always include it in an image as well, because nobody is reading that 10 page long product description. And if anything, they are going to click right back to their search page with all the other Apple Watch sellers, watch band sellers, the second they hit that message that says that you agree to this binding, I don't even remember what it says, basically just saying that you agree to all of these things. Acknowledgement and agreement to the entirety of the following. And then all of the following. <laughs> and it just goes and goes. I didn't even know. Etsy lets you do this. So, and they actually have their website down here. So if that's why they took off the free trial, it wasn't because they didn't want to direct people off of Etsy, but that's neither here nor there. That's a totally separate concept here. 
The point is, put these things in your shop policies, put these things in your FAQ. Do not overwhelm the buyer with all of that information because it's very, very scary looking and they're not going to buy from you. Okay, so let's continue down now that I have been a bummer. I'm not a grumpy person. I feel like that. I hate to be negative, but it's important to point these things out sometimes because people don't know and they do want their customers to get all of this information that is valuable information. So I hate to be negative, but please, please use your FAQ, use your policies section. Okay, moving on to their tags. There is some interesting tags here and they were very smart to combine the sizes into multiple tags so that they're not wasting each tag on the sizes. I thought that was really clever and I loved that they did that. And I did notice that while they are, oh, they did actually update their tags. Look at that. My guess is that they are trying desperately to compete with some of these other sellers because they did lose that bestseller tag and their sales are probably suffering as a result or their sales are probably suffering for whatever reason and they probably can't figure it out because they have recently updated their tags but they did initially not have any tags that said Apple Watch. It actually said iWatch and I wish I would have screenshotted that. Darn it. But here we are anyways. They also use their store name in their tags, which is interesting because that tells you they're probably doing a lot of work on social media. And social media can be really, really useful for Etsy sellers if you have the time and the energy and you enjoy social media. I do not. I do not use social media. It's okay if you don't use social media. I did for years when I was a brand new Etsy seller, like in Oh man, I don't even know what year that was. Anyways, um, I'm old. So in the OG years of Etsy, back way back when Artfire was like a real competitor of Etsy. I don't know if any of you have heard of Artfire. If you have, give me a yes in the comments. Give me a thumbs up or something. Let me know. Um, anyways, uh, I don't, I, I burned myself all, out on social media very quickly. So I don't use it. You don't have to use it to have a successful Etsy store. You really don't. If your SEO is on point, you can be super successful without any social media posting at all. And I truly believe that. And I have seen that many, many times. So they no longer have the tag that says I watch. Thank goodness, because that was totally blowing my mind. I didn't understand why they didn't have Apple Watch Band in here, but they do now actually have one. It's only one, which makes me wonder what do these guys have for their tags? You're getting like a triple whammy here because I'm looking at three stores at once. Okay, Apple Watch Band Woman. And they did not think to separate their tags. That is very interesting. Monogrammed Apple Watch Band. So they have it more than once in this store. Let's take a peek here. I'm being very nosy today. Okay, personalized Apple Watch Band. So just once. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to jump back to their tags again because I keep sidetracking myself. This is going to be so fun to edit. I'm going to hate myself when I edit this video because I'm jumping around like a crazy person here. Okay, so looking at their other tags, I also noticed that there is a few, there are a few very big tags that don't really say anything. For example, Vine initials here. What is this Vine initials? I'm assuming it refers to a design that is on the watch, but it says nothing about watches. And I don't think anybody's going to be searching for Vine initials. They may search for initials on an Apple watch or monogram Apple watch, but they're not gonna search for Vine initials. And then there's birthday, just birthday. Birthday what? birthday gift, birthday present, nothing, just birthday. And, and to be honest, they do have gift for him and gift for her here, which is great, but they would have been better off just having gift instead of birthday because gift gives you a lot more options, right? There's wedding gift, anniversary gift, birthday gift, Christmas gift, holiday gift, Hanukkah gift. There's all sorts of reasons people buy gifts. 
that are way beyond birthday. And then you have nurse. Nurse what? Not nurse watch band, not nurse anything, not nurse gift. It's just nurse. This is an absolute waste of a tag here. And they're losing visibility and even worse than losing visibility. Using a tag that is this short and this big is actually damaging to your store. And here's why. When you search nurse, for example, let's say I'm looking for a nurse t-shirt and I type nurse into the Etsy search bar and a watch, a watch band pops up. I don't want a watch band, so I'm gonna scroll right past that, right? Cause I want a shirt. And all the things that pop up that I don't want, Etsy's learning, oh, this isn't relevant to that search. I keep showing this product for nurse and nobody's clicking on it and nobody's buying it. So I'm going to stop showing this for nurse because it's not converting. It's not a good match. And that actually hurts you because you're teaching Etsy that people don't want to buy your product. So it's really important to be more specific in your tags than that. And that's also why we do our competitor research and see what tags people are using and really stay on top of your target market and your competitive edge. So that's enough. I think I've gone on about this particular product enough and I'm sorry, I'm sorry seller because I feel like I'm not being very kind, but I do want to show you this other store listing they have, which is a Tumblr. I love this Tumblr. It gave me such a huge, huge, huge laugh. It is so hilarious. It says, I like big boats and I cannot lie. Tumblers are so fun. Like tumblers are something that when you see a funny tumbler, you just keep buying more of them because they're funny. And we always need something to put our coffee in, right? It's like one of those things like coffee mugs you can never have too much of. So I love this. Their video is very different from the previous video. It actually shows how they make the product, which is pretty cool. But again, tumblers are a really common print on demand item. So you don't need to have any sort of machine to make the product. There are perks to making products like these yourself. Like your profit margin is going to be a lot higher because buying plain tumblers is a lot, lot cheaper if you get them from a wholesaler or from a warehouser than it is getting them on Printify, for example. But you are also fulfilling every order yourself. You're making every order yourself. It really bogs you down time-wise. So it, it's one of those time versus money um, debates. And for some of us, like when we first started out selling, we made all of our shirts. I made wall decals. I'm, I've had a few different stores over the years. And a lot of these products I started out making myself. Um, and then eventually as your time just becomes more and more limited because you're growing faster, you start to find streamlining ways. And so print on demand was actually invented after I started selling on Etsy. That wasn't originally a concept. And I loved when that came about. Um, they've got their own products. They could be really competitive on price. They've got lots of different color options. They've obviously got the ability to make whatever designs they want because they have the machinery. And really, if they take some time to update their SEO, and to address some of these things like scary description information, they could totally capture so many more sales and they could get back to that bestseller status. So it's really just a few small things like changing their description that can help. Okay, so let's take a peek at the SEO on this listing. I'm gonna copy and paste their title into my workbook here. So it's 108 characters, so there's still some room here to add some more keywords, which could help them get more visibility as well. As we saw, there are only two pictures and one video, so there's definitely room to add more images. In fact, they can even make one of these how to order type images for tumblers as well. So there's lots of room for improvement on the, the pictures, just adding more pictures. Their pictures are good, they just don't have enough. And then again, we see the same kind of scary product description with lots and lots of information here. Scrolling down, I'm sorry if you get so dizzy from this. 
Okay. And then let's look at their tags. So their tags threw me off a little bit. These tags are better. They're better than the um, Apple Watch tags for sure. But I was really interested to see they have customized mug, personalized tumbler, water bottle, color tumbler, cruise tumbler, cruising royal, Caribbean cruise. But they don't have anything about boats. The product is really, I like big boats, but there's no tag about boats. So they should definitely add that in there. And then this one, stemless wine glass. This one really gave me a pause because it's a steel tumbler, not a wine glass. So I'm not sure why they put this here. And again, this is something that if people are searching for stemless wine glasses and this is popping up in the search results, it's not going to get any clicks and it's further teaching the Etsy algorithm that this isn't a good match and it's reducing visibility. It's going to stop showing this. So definitely should do some updating on tags as well. And I think for the most part, these are pretty good. I love how they've got outdoors drinkware, um, double insulation, personalized tumbler, customized mug. They really did cover all of the big things, but things like boat and of course swapping this out for something that's actually relevant to the, the product, like maybe coffee mug or coffee tumbler, something like that might help as well because I'm also noticing that they don't have coffee in here either. So just make sure that's why we do this competitor research so that we can see what tags we might be missing. Cause you can kind of get tunnel vision when you're making your listings and you can just forget really obvious words because you've been working so long and you're on a specific train of thought. So a few little tweaks here can get their visibility way, 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 way up there. And that reminds me, I actually just posted a great video that will help you fix listings that aren't selling well. So it will walk you through the whole process for listings you've made that aren't getting sales and fixes the listing step by step. So that would really help this particular store out. And if you have any products, I'm sure we all have had a product or two that you just can't figure out why they're not selling. Check that video out here.